Hey everybody. Today I'm going to talk about pH and in particular I want to talk about chasing that pH number to try to get it just perfect. Uh, I've had the topic come up three or four times now in the last couple of days and usually whenever that happens I wind up sitting down and shooting a video about it because it's been on my mind. And I have been asked about what to add to lower or raise pH, how much should I lower it or raise it, etc., etc. And my recommendation to most people in most situations is just leave it alone. Don't mess around with it. Chasing your pH, just down that road madness lies. You're not going to ever get your pH perfect. You're going to stress your fish out far more by bouncing that number all around than you are by just letting it be. When it comes to pH, stability is far, far more important than perfection. Now, obviously you can't keep a fish way outside its range. If it's a soft water fish that's supposed to be in a pH of no higher than 6.5, it's not going to do well if you keep it in your, you know, nine pH of nine water. That's obvious. But if you've got a fish, and I get this kind of question a lot, it, you know, prefers a range between 6.5 and 7.5 around that neutral area. But people will tell me, well, you know, I checked my pH and it's eight. What should I do to bring the pH up in the tank? And the first thing I ask him, well, is, is the fish showing any signs of distress? Is there any reason you want to? And I generally get the same answer, and that is no, but I just found out this fish is supposed to be in a pH of 7.5, and I've got it in 8. What can I do about that? Leave it alone. If it's an 8 and it's not showing any signs of distress, don't mess with it. If it's not showing signs of distress, then it's probably not in distress. Um, Again, just bouncing that pH number around is going to be more stressful to your fish. Remember, your fish's blood shifts with the pH in the water. And it causes a lot of stress within the fish physiologically, even if it's not going to kill it or take it out of its pH range altogether. It still stresses the fish having that pH bouncing around all over the place. If you've got water that tends to sit around 8 and you've got fish that you just found out are supposed to be in 7.5, that's fine. Leave it alone. Don't mess with it. If the fish aren't showing signs of distress, don't mess with it. Don't go chasing that number around. What I do recommend to people is figure out what kind of water you have first and then set your fish tanks up around that. There's a reason I have soft water, um, you know, planted tanks and that's because I have soft water. I don't really go and mess around with it to try to change it. But the times where we would do that, it's not the pH that we're going after so much. What we're doing is we're addressing the water and we're addressing the dissolved solids in the water. So let's say with my soft water, I've decided I want to set up an African cichlid tank. I would have to address the water. I wouldn't be just putting pH drops in there to raise the pH. I would actually have to put something in the water to raise the water's hardness. I'd have to run aragonite uh, gravel or address the water beforehand before I did the water changes. But the whole idea would be revolving around the idea that it would be making the water hard, adding the dissolved solids, the calcium and the magnesium. In doing that, the pH will naturally come to where it should be for those fish. I'm not in there tinkering with the pH, I'm in there tinkering with the water's hardness. And that's different, and that would also be because I set the tank up to be a hard water fish. I would know in advance that I was going to need to address that water because I set it up that way. Other end of the spectrum would be if you wanted to set up a black water tank and you know you're going to have to make that water acidic and you're going to have to address it with a lot of uh, peat or tea, uh, you know, regular herbal tea or something that's going to load up tannins in that water and make it black, make it acidic, make it soft. And if you do all those things, you're going to have a very low pH. So again, you're not going after the pH, you're going after the water. You're trying to condition the water. And if you condition the water properly, it will then be the proper pH. So those are the two circumstances where you would be doing things that would adjust the pH. If you're adjusting a tank to have hard water fish or to have soft water fish, most people just go out and buy fish. And if you're going to do that, you just, you want to find out what kind of water you've got. If you've got soft water, go buy fish that do better in soft water and, and leave the African cichlids alone, which is what I've done. Um, if you're interested, if you find out you've got really hard water, gear your tanks around that. 
But if you've been keeping fish for a few years or whatever, and you're just now finding out that the pH is slightly off or the pH in your tap is 6.5 and the fish are really supposed to be at 7.3, leave it alone. Don't go chasing that pH. You'll, you'll drive yourself crazy. You'll never achieve it. What will happen is you'll be adding whatever you're adding to try to bring the pH down and nothing will be happening and nothing will be happening and nothing will be happening and you'll finally overcome your tank's buffering capacity and then your pH will plummet. And then you're going to be putting stuff in the tank to try to bring your pH back up and you're going to be trying to add buffer to it. Just, again, down that road, madness lies. Trust me, been there, done that. Figure out what kind of water you got. Buy fish accordingly. If you've already got fish that are doing okay and you're not having any issues, you know, if you are in the odd situation where you really do need to adjust the pH and no other circumstances, then I honestly don't know what to recommend to you of how to safely do that or what would be a good idea. If you've got fish that prefer harder water, you could maybe add some limestone decorations or put some aragonite in it and that will gradually bring the water hardness up. And then once you've got the water hardness up, you do small water changes. So you're not, you know, softening the water by adding a lot of soft water each time. And over time, the tank will just get, you know, harder and the pH will come up. But again, that's adjusting the water for a hard water fish tank. I don't really know the circumstances where you would have water conditions that were correct, but a pH that was way out of whack. You know, that just, I don't know where you'd ever get into a situation like that. So don't go chasing your pH number not going to have a good time. So, all right, everybody, that's my two cents on that. Make sure you tell me your thoughts down below. I'd be interested to hear them. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. So thanks for watching this one. I'll see you real soon in the next one.